I am Francisco Cole and uh, I am the director of uh, Quinton Laboratory in Spain and um, we are producing uh, isotonic and hypertonic seawater for, for treating uh, people really. The product comes from uh, France. Mm -hmm. René Quinton was uh, a humanist man in France during the beginning uh, of the 20th century. He made uh, a fantastic discovery. He discovered that uh, the isotonic seawater is identical to the organic water. Not only the blood, the fact. It's same to the blood, but the other liquids, organic liquids too. For example, you don't have to forget that the tears are seawater too. Or uh, the liquid in the brain, uh, as uh, Manuel Garcia Velarde, he's, he's a professor in uh, Madrid, uh, say that 80% of the water in the brain is seawater too. And when you are talking about a pregnant woman, uh, the amniotic liquid is seawater too. It's exactly the same composition as uh, seawater. It's not only the minerals. In fact, the first cell, when uh, she, she appears in the ocean, she uh, maintains all the, this liquid, the ocean uh, initial condition, inside the cell. So inside the cell, what you can find is really seawater. And seawater is not only minerals. You have minerals, you have amino acids, you have vitamin, you have um, organic uh, matter. And this organic matter comes from the sea. You, you, you cannot drink any kind of seawater. You cannot go to the coast and drink seawater from the coast because it's polluted. Uh, as you see um, in Rio de Janeiro, there is some problem during the Olympic Games with the seawater. Yes, yeah, there is a, um, uh, a sailor uh, died during, uh, just before the Olympic Games because he was uh, sailing in the ocean and the conditions of the sea are very bad, uh, very contaminated, but polluted, and he died because he, uh, he inhaled some bacteria from the sea. So, you, you, you need to be very careful. We have to find the correct points where we can harvest the seawater. And these points are the bloom, the phytoplankton bloom. So if we harvest the, the, the seawater just under the phytoplankton bloom, you can be sure that this seawater is pure, all the minerals are totally bioavailable inside, and uh, there is no problem of contamination because this uh, phytoplankton blue is, uh, is, is the fish ground. So the life began in these points. So if the life began here, you can be sure that this seawater is perfect for the human consumption. René Quinta at the beginning used the seawater to radiate uh, children. At the beginning, he made the, the, the research with dogs. He extract blood from the dog more than 100% uh, of uh, the, the total blood of the um, dog and inject isotonic seawater. And he demonstrated that this isotonic seawater became blood. There is, there is many reasons how to explain uh, this transformation. No? It's not so simple. Uh, but uh, today we, can, we know exactly uh, what's happened. And uh, quickly, uh, he, um, he, he saw that he can help people, so he used this uh, technique with uh, uh, children, uh, totally dehydrated, with cholera infantile, and he injected seawater, subcutaneous seawater, and uh, the improvement uh, was incredible. So he started to build some marine dispensary around France to practice uh, this marine therapy in uh, all all these generation of babies in France uh, call it uh, Quinton babies because they are saved by uh, René Quinton. The fact is, um, the, Quinton, the marine therapy is not to fight against something, a virus, a bacteria, or, uh, uh, or to treat a disease. As uh, we read in a, a newspaper at the beginning of the 20th century, there is a title in the new paper who said, uh, in a comparison, to Louis Pasteur. The title says, Louis Pasteur show us the conception of the uh, disease. René Quinton show us the conception of the health. Is how to approach the medicine in a different way. 
when you drink seawater, what, what you are doing really is to give to your cells all the minerals to have a correct gene expression. If you have a correct gene expression, you can restore many diseases. This is the fact. You, are not, you don't have a specifically a protocol to treat some disease. You are going to use uh, seawater to, to, to balance, really, your gene expression. This is um, the main difference. Here there is so many uh, high-level researchers in water. And I think uh, there is, uh, water is a molecule, the most simple molecule, molecule in the world, but has to be the most studied molecule in the world. Because there is so many mysteries of the water, and we don't know exactly what's happened with, uh, with uh, this simple uh, H2O. So it's very nice to find here all these researchers sharing this information and try to understand uh, what's happened really with uh, water, seawater, cells, and all this relation first.